Hi there. There are lots of different handles you can use for basket weaving, and I wanna share a couple of them so that you know some terminology when you start incorporating handles in your baskets. So let's start out with D handles, which are pretty basic basket weaving handles. And these are called D handles because they look like the letter D. The base is flat and they have a square side with the rounded top. And D handles come in a number of different sizes, shapes, and dimensions. So you have your short D that's pretty wide compared to its height. We have a medium D, a tall, narrow D, and this large D handle. You can get D handles in all types of sizes in height and width. Uh, I have lots of resources in the description below, so check those out for resources for basket handles that you can purchase online. Next up is a sharp top D. This is where the D base, there's the flat base with an angled wall, so there's not a 90 degree in the corner here. It comes up and the handle top or the, the grip point is narrower than the base. So this is a sharp top D. There's also narrow Ds like this one where you still have kind of a 90 degree in the base, but it's very narrow compared to the height. Next are D handles that swing. This has a 90 degree angle in the base, but it has a knob swing adjustment to it so that the handle moves back and forth. There are also notched handles. These fit into the walls of a basket. They don't go straight down into the bottom. You don't build them into your basket as you're weaving or into the base as you're weaving. You build them into the walls or tuck them into the walls once you've woven the walls of your basket. And these have notches here in the sides so that you can fit the rim on top of the notch to hold it into your basket. And these are great for bushel baskets. This one is intended to be for a small Easter basket or other small basket because the notch is on the inside rather than on the sides. So that the rim fits right on top there and on the outside. Another, this is a rounded notch handle. Another shape is this square notch handle with a grip where it has this cut out in the top. So this is another one where the rim sits on top of this notch here. For ribbed baskets, you will be using hoops like these guys. These are oval hoops, there are round hoops, and then rectangular hoops or rims. These can be built into the rim of a basket to make a nice solid alternative to a lashed and reed rim. Hoops are typically used in pairs. You can use different sizes or the same size and they fit inside of each other like this to create the frame for a ribbed basket. There are also wire handles like this basket here where a metal eye fits into the rim of the basket. And this is a loop that fits into the rim of the basket and then a handle is put onto that loop and the, there's a sometimes a wood grip, sometimes not on the wire handle, but this, this style is a swing handle. Another way to do a handle in a basket is to do a self reed handle. And this is where I made the stakes long enough that I could extend them past the rim, over, fold them over and back into the basket to create a handle for this wall basket. And if you wanna make this wall basket, I have a video tutorial here all about how to make this completed basket. You can do this kind of handle on wall baskets, bushel baskets, baskets that are going to carry a little less weight because they will pull out if too much weight is put onto them. Another thing that you can add to your baskets are feet. A wool gathering basket is a great example where you put feet into the basket. So this would get, this portion of the foot would get woven into the wall and the basket would sit on these feet, one per corner, like so. And it makes a fun raised basket, especially for spinning because you can have it level with your spinning wheel and have a nice place to store your wool. These feet were custom made my, by my dad to a specific measurement, specific height to match my spinning wheel. You can get shorter feet. 
You can buy commercially produced feet that are typically shorter. These longer ones were harder to find, so I custom made these. My dad custom made these. <laughs> There's your credit, dad. There are lots of other handle types like the Williamsburg basket handle, which has a flat base, but then the sides round out and curve around to create a rounded top. There's also U handles, which don't have a base. They're just U'd. They're just like the letter U upside down or letter N, I guess. Uh, and you can put those into the walls of a basket. A U handle is different from a notched handle in that it doesn't have the notch in the side. That's a little bit of an overview of different types of handles you can use in rattan basket weaving and some of their uses. Check the description below for more resources on where to buy your own handles and some inspiration on different types of baskets and handles that you can try out. Give this video a like if you enjoy basket weaving and to support my channel and subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified of new videos that I put out. Thanks so much for watching and happy basket weaving. See you next time.